Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media, and we are continuing on Monster Cat 10 year anniversary reactions. This is Ellis and New Aspect with you from 2017. Uh, I have not listened to any Ellis from before the EP. Um, so, I mean, I, I haven't gone back and listened to anything older. So I'm really interested to see what this is going to be like. Uh, what is Ellis's first song? It's actually from 2016 on Spotify. Uh, but I, I've, yeah, I'm just thinking about this now. I've never gone back and listened to his old stuff other than the Tell Me Ellis remix from Haywire. That's the first time I've even heard the Ellis name. But I am super excited for this. This is supposed to be a house track as well, so this will be super interesting. Um, yeah, here we go. This is uh, You from 2017, Alice and New Aspect. I should preface that I really liked his EP, so I'm a, I'm a big Alice fan. Got a deep house vibe to it. I'll be going crazy thinking about you. I'm interested to see how much funk this is really gonna be because I think the my guess is his newer funky style has only been newer. Well newer. No, we don't really know. Okay, decently long build up for the drop. Here we go. Okay, I'm a fan. It's good. It's good, but it feels fairly basic. At least in what I know from Ellis. Okay, yeah, this is nothing too insane, I think, at this point. Seems copy pasted? Except for that one little section there. The Yeah, this is a, I mean, a pretty solid deep house cut. It's just, uh, yeah. I don't think it's technically classified as deep house, but I would, I would call this deep house. Deeper future house, I guess. It's a little chummy-ish. Okay, and a, uh, a long, or not long, snoutro. 
an eight second fadeaway. Okay, that was uh, Ellis and New Aspect U from 2017. Uh, I was not overly blown away by this song. I think it's a good house track. I'm a, uh, I gotta stop saying it, but I'm, I'm a fan of it. Um, but it just didn't feel like it was uh, just this grandiose or more, it, yeah, it's not what I'm used to from modern Ellis, today Ellis, 2021 Ellis, where it's just so funky, so like odd and cheesy in different ways that you kind of love it or hate it. Um, this uh, feels like a, a safer song. Um, I definitely prefer newer Ellis. I absolutely prefer new Ellis, the Speak Francais, Brand New Phone. Uh, I can't think of the name of the song that I like the most off that EP. Uh, with the U in it. I, wow, I'm having a major brain fart. I just need to actually look at it um, because I can't do this for right. What the heck? Am I crazy? What's it called? Don't say you're sorry. Oh my gosh. How did I forget that? Um, that was, just, <laughs> um, wow. Okay. Big man, big mind blank. I've been listening to a lot of music lately here. So, uh, yeah. Um, I, it was good. It was, it, it felt safer. It felt calmer. Uh, this doesn't feel like the Ellis that I, that we know nowadays, but that's because this is 2017. And, uh, this is, this is a solid track that I would put into some playlists, uh, into my, I actually have a Deep House playlist on Spotify that I'll add this one into, even though if it's not technically Deep House, I, whatever, it's got similar sounds that from what I enjoy in that similar genre. But uh, yeah, it, it didn't blow me away. Thought it was just a solid kind of okay, good track. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Did you love this? Did you hate this? What about Ellis do you think? That those are words. Uh, I would love to hear any and all thoughts in the comment section below. But with that, I've been Bowtie Media and I will see you guys in another video.